Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica if you're new here. And if you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications before you leave so you never miss out on a new video. Today I'm making five brand new Dollar Tree Farmhouse Coastal DIYs, perfect for your coastal decor. All right, let's get started. For this DIY, I'm gonna use seven of these cute little frames from Dollar Tree. Um, I think they already look kind of nautical and coastal with the color and the driftwood look that they have. Um, I just began by removing um, the backing and the paper um, and the glass and pulling out those little tabs and then hot gluing the glass back into each one of these frames. Next, I'm going to take the frames with the glass glued back into them and I am going to hot glue them together. Um, I hot glued them together long ways. I did three and then I did two on the side and then three on the back to make a box. Now I would recommend using E6000 to glue the glass and to glue these frames down so that that way it has more of a permanent hold because hot glue will not last that long. Um, but it was easy to glue these together and make a box out of them and like I said I did it long ways so um, they're not standing up they're the long way um, and then to reinforce them I took um, some popsicle sticks and I hot glued those down to the back of each one of those creases on each side of the frames now to make a bottom, I used some more popsicle sticks and I just cut them down to size and then I just began hot gluing them to the bottom of the box. Again, I would definitely recommend using E6000 and applying some pressure onto those sides where um, you're gluing them down to make it last longer. Also, this is not something that's going to hold a like anything really heavy. Um, it's more of a lightweight material that you need to put inside of here because it will break, I'm sure. Um, I did reinforce the inside of the bottom with some more popsicle sticks, and then I added that pool noodle at the bottom to place my floral into. You could use any type of floral you would like. Um, I just had some of the grass from Dollar Tree, and I just think that this always looks like the seagrass that you see in like the planters and stuff that they sell at the stores. So I put five of these into um, a row uh, into the pool noodle. I did use some hot glue to hot glue them down into the pool noodle and I cut them down a little bit. Um, now to fill in the top, I just placed a couple bags of seashells that I got from Dollar Tree um, and I just placed them around. You could hot glue them down so that they um, stay and don't slip around so you can see that blue um, but I was fine with them just laying in there and then I had these uh, little gems from Dollar Tree that I've never seen this color before and I placed that on top and that was it for this For this DIY, I used two styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree. These are the larger balls that you can get there. And then I also used some of this cotton rope from Dollar Tree. Um, I just cut two small pieces and then I looped them together so that both ends met at the bottom. Um, and then I poked holes with my scissors into the styrofoam ball uh, and then I pushed the um, rope down into those holes and hot glued them into those holes to make loops for my balls. Now I just took one of the bigger bags of seashells from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to start hot gluing the seashells around the styrofoam ball starting at the top where I hot glued the um, nautical cotton rope into the styrofoam. And I'm just overlapping um, the seashells as I work my way around the styrofoam ball. Um, I found that it was more 
circular shaped at the end when I use the same size seashells all the way around the styrofoam ball. The other one I made that you can see in the bottom corner of the video, um, that was the first one I made and I started using the smaller seashells first and then working my way up to the bigger ones. And it still looks cute, but it's not as circular as the second one I made, but I still think they make a cute pair. I used one of the big bags of seashells for both of these balls and depending on how you cover them up that will work just fine um, to give you good coverage and I think this turned out super cute and perfect for some beachy decor. For the next DIY, I'm gonna use one of these white trays um, from a Dollar Tree. And I think the edges, the scalloped look, uh, kind of reminds me of seashells or fish scales or mermaid scales. So I think it's perfect to make some coastal decor out of. I'm also gonna use some of these gems from Dollar Tree. I have a ton left over from other previous projects. So I'm gonna start off with the blue here. And what I did was I just laid out and made the shape of what I think looks like a uh, starfish. And I didn't like follow any pattern or anything. I just kind of did what I thought looked cute and looked like a starfish. Then I used some hot glue to hot glue the gems down. I would definitely use super glue or E6000. Again, that will last longer and they won't pop up because um, hot glue, they will eventually pop up. Um, so like I said, I just uh, laid everything down and then I hot glued the blue gems down. And then to fill the outer edges of the starfish, I used the clear gems and hot glued those all around the tray. I ended up using two bags of the clear gems to fill in around the starfish and then for the starfish I used about half a bag of the blue gems. Um, and you could do whatever design you would like, it doesn't have to be a starfish. To fill in the gaps around the gems, I used some of the Alex Fast Dry Caulking um, because I have a ton left over from all the house projects I've been doing. Um, and you could actually use caulking from Dollar Tree, you could use resin, you could use brown, out, or you could just leave it plain. It's up to you. Uh, once all of the gaps were filled, I just wiped away the excess caulking with a damp paper towel and used a dry paper towel to clean everything off. There's still a little residue, but I love how this turned out. It's such a cute piece of coastal beachy decor. For this DIY, I picked up a pair of beachy flip-flops from Dollar Tree. Um, I went with ones that were beachy themed because I had all intentions of leaving the color. I wasn't going to paint these flip-flops or anything, but you'll see later on I decided to do that. Um, so I started off by removing the straps to the sandals and I used some of the cotton nautical rope as replacement straps. So I just cut two pieces to size and I just pushed the end of the cotton rope through the holes that were already there in the flip-flops. Um, this was pretty easy except for the top hole was a little bit more difficult um, to pull both pieces of rope through that one hole. I did have to make the hole just a tad bit bigger, um, but it actually, in the end, you'll see it made it easier to pull the rope through if both pieces of rope were laying on top of each other and you did it at the same time and not one each, like you tried to feed one through and then the other through. Anyways, it worked out. Um, I put the rope through and then I cut the backs of the rope to make it look a little bit nicer on the back. And then I decided, no, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. And I didn't wanna remove the rope that I already put in there. So I left the rope on and I started painting these white. Um, 
and then I decided that was pretty boring. Um, so I went in and mixed some blue coastal looking um, color and I decided to take some painter's tape and try to, I was gonna paint stripes with the blue, again, without removing the um, straps that I had put on there. Well, that didn't work out. It doesn't look horrible on camera, but it, doesn't, it didn't look good. Um, so I ended up removing the straps and I went ahead and painted each flip flop with the blue. And I decided I was going to give this more of a weathered, look like they were um, kind of wooden sandals. So I, after the blue paint was dry, I took a piece of sandpaper and I went around the edges of each flip flop and sanded it down so that you could just see the white poking through. And then I took some stain to make it a little bit more weathered and old looking. Um, and I just painted that over each flip flop and wiped it with a paper towel. Still wasn't satisfied with that, decided to come back with some white paint, I don't know why, and I um, wasn't satisfied with that either, so I came back with some more stain, and still wasn't satisfied with that look, so I put some more blue on top of that, and then just wiped it all with a paper towel. And it did eventually end up giving me a, um, more weathered look that I was kind of going for, but I don't think I needed to go through all of this process. I probably should have stopped at the first coat of stain and paint, but that's okay. I still like how they turned out. Um, and then I went ahead, like you see here, I am putting the uh, straps back on. And um, as you can see, I am um, doubling up there at the top hole um, for the rope and it went in a lot smoother than the first time I tried to do it. Um, so I went ahead and put those back and then trimmed the backs off like I did before. Then I put a couple seashells that I had left over um, on the top there and hot glued those down. I took a piece of twine and hot glued those to the back of each flip flop so that that way I could hang these up. Then I decided I needed a little bow at the top of the twine because it looked a little plain like this. So I took some hula skirt from Dollar Tree, the raffia, and I tied um, a bunch of that around the top of the twine and cut it down. Um, and then I used some more and made a bow and just hot glued that down to the top of the twine I wrapped around there, or the raffia I wrapped around there before. And then just cut the pieces. And I think this turned out super cute. For the last DIY, I'm using these mirrors from Dollar Tree. I got these a while back, but I know they still sell these types of mirrors at Dollar Tree. I've seen them recently. Um, and I'm gonna use some of that nautical cotton rope. I just began with the end of the, the nautical rope there. Um, it does come with a piece of tape wrapped around the end, so I cut that off. And then I just started hot gluing um, the nautical rope around the mirror around the frame of the mirror. I just started in the center where that frame started, and then I just kept hot gluing it down. I used two um, bunches of the rope for each mirror, and once I got to um, the end of the frame of the mirror, um, which actually wasn't until like the last time I went around with the rope, um, I just hot glued the rope to itself all the way around. Um, and it held up really well. And then these already have hangers on the back of them. So it works out perfectly when you are ready to hang them or you could use some command strips because these are super lightweight. I just did this to all three of the mirrors and it definitely gives you that coastal, beachy, nautical look that I love so much.
Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, please put a seashell emoji down in the comments below to let me know. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.